Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new make sure that you subscribe before you leave That way you'll never miss out on another reading on my channel I do one every single Friday and I'm actually just starting out a tarot Tuesday series where two Tuesdays a month I will upload a reading on Tuesdays, but anyways before we get started I want to let you guys know if you guys want more readings from me and more like exclusive photos of tutorials not tutorials, of um, rituals that I do, my own personal rituals, head over to my Patreon because I get a ton of questions asked about how I prepare my candles, how I do certain things, and so you can find all that over there on Patreon. I'll link it down below. And also, I get a lot of questions asked about all the stuff that's on my tarot table. Basically, if you are interested in anything on my tarot table, they should be up in my store and the link will be down in the description box below. So now that all that's out of the way, let's go ahead and see what is coming in in October. I'm so excited for October because October is my birthday month. So for all my Libras out there, hi! Like, this is going to be a very, very special month for us. Not just Libras, but everybody in general. The energy is very, very good. So. Basically what we're doing is we're gonna pick a card, card pile number one, two, three, or four, or pick a crystal that you are drawn to. Go ahead and pick the peacock or the amethyst, citrine, or the ruby. Okay, so for everybody that picked card group number one or the peacock or crystal, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So the first thing I see in October is like something is coming in like something very beautiful something very loving is coming in that this could be a lot of different things so let's get into the cards the first card is new love embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth so something is definitely coming in in October where it's gonna make you feel excited and it's gonna make you feel inspired and motivated whether this is a person whether this is a reigniting of like a relationship in your life currently, whether this is something to do with work, an opportunity, a trip, a family gathering, an event, a meeting, something of that sort is really coming in in October and it's going to get you pumped. It's going to get you so excited. It's actually going to bring in a lot of love into your life. It's going to make I don't know, I feel like this coming into your life, you know how like you get one thing come into your life and you just get so happy about it and inspired about it and so touched by it that it kind of seeps into the other areas of your life. Like imagine you're having a really, really good day and that in turn, you just going throughout your day like super excited or super happy, you spread that and you're just different. Your energy is different. You, the way you talk is different. The way you walk is different. Like say you have a um, vacation planned, right? And it's the day before your vacation. Like how excited do you feel that day before you fly out or that day before you drive out to your vacation? It's like that type of a feeling coming in October. It's like this excitement that just slowly starts to seep into different areas of your life. Um, and that comes to the next card, which is surrender fear. So let go of the fearful stories you're telling yourself. Stay in the moment and focus on the solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So here, the universe is saying, okay, so in October, because of this new vibrant energy that is coming into your life, a lot of your fears are going to be going away. When you raise your vibration and when you change your perspective from the negative to the positive, then it's it's automatic like your fear automatically loses its power and i feel like that's what is going that's what is going to happen in october for you a lot of your fears are going to lose their power like that right there i feel like is a huge message not just for you but for me too like fear is going to lose its power in october and you're going to feel it now the third card that comes up is fertility this card is sending messages of potential, power, powerful creative energy and initiation energy. So this goes very much hand in hand with the new love card because it's this new creation coming in, new energy coming into your life. This could be a baby. This could be you are pregnant. You are about to go into like give birth in October or it could be you find out that you're pregnant in October, or you're giving birth to an idea or a new love, or you're giving birth to a new version of you, something is definitely gonna be created 
in October within you or around you where you're just going to become like a different person where your fears are no longer going to have any influence or power over you. That comes to the next card, which says deep replenishment. So here the message is retreat, rest and be held. So I feel like in the month of October, you're also going to just allow people to take care of you. Like if somebody wants to buy you dinner, you're going to be like, yeah, let's go. Like you're, you're open. In, a, in the month of October, because your fears no longer have this power over you, you're going to be more open to do things you would normally say no to. And that's in turn going to replenish your spirit because I feel like you've been limiting yourself and you've been holding yourself back in October. Now you're just like, no, like I never used to eat sushi. Now I want to eat sushi. I never used to drink wine. Now I want to drink wine. I don't know, something of that sort. Like something you're bringing into your life that you would never really do before, but now it's in a way that you want to do it. It's in a way that you're ready to do it. And it's in a way that you really want to experience in such a like a spiritual growth type of a way. And that comes to our next card, which is Keepers of the Earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So in the month of October, it's when the veil is the thinnest. I think that's how you say it. Either the veil is the thinnest or the veil comes down, something like that. But what that means is we, it's like we have more of a connection to the other side of the veil which means we have more connections with our ancestors. We have more connections with our spirit guides. And I feel like this month in October, you're really going to feel that. You're really going to be able to kind of see signs from your ancestors. People who have passed on, now you might be seeing signs from them and they might be coming to give you warm, loving energy or they might be coming to tell you something or to guide you somewhere, but definitely expect to see messages from your spirit guides and your loved ones who have passed on, just trying to come to you to let you know that they love you and they're here for you. They're guiding you and like ask questions, you know, try to reach out if you can. And how I would reach out is like right before I go to sleep, I would write a question on a bay leaf and burn it and go to sleep. And you could do things like that where you can just ask a question and whoever, whatever energy is around you, whatever spirit guide is around you, they can like send you the messages through your dreams, um, but you're also protected because bay leaves are very protective. That's just the way that I would do it. Um, but yeah, there's a very beautiful message. And the last card that popped up for you in October is such high vibrations of prosperity. Your root chakra has been awakening. Your root chakra is your stability, your foundation. So if you've been feeling like you haven't been financially stable or you're struggling with money or you want to bring in more abundance or anything that has to do with wealth, materialistic things or finances, in the month of October, this these struggles are going to kind of go away because remember we're raising our vibration and creating this new loving energy and love is the highest vibration so we just like we just stabilized our foundation red is the color of love red is the color of our root chakra we're starting to feel more stable and because of that inner stable feeling now in other aspects of our life we're inviting that stable feeling where we feel safe whether we have somebody in our life or we don't what like no matter what happens we feel safe in our own foundation and our own world that we built that we don't care what outside influences are out there because we feel safe inwards you know what i'm saying so that's kind of what the energy is for october october seems like a, a month of spiritual growth for you and a lot of blessings coming in regarding just letting go of things that have been holding you back and also something new is coming in or maybe like a past relationship might be reigniting or something is coming in that is bringing a very very loving energy and it, and you're gonna feel it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys are interested in more readings head over to my store or patreon and i'll talk to you guys later Bye. All right, for everybody that picked card group number two or the Amethyst Crystal, this month of October seems like a month where you're going to be shedding your old skin. Like, you know how snakes shed their skin? That's the vision that I'm getting for you in October. You are shedding, you are letting go, you are just purging out your life of so much dead weight. Oh my gosh, like I feel like you've been suffering from all of this weight on your shoulders for so long and in October you're going to literally feel it coming off of you 
it's beautiful energy like very light energy so the first card that comes up is surrender like we talked about just now um you're going to be surrendering you're going to be surrendering to your higher self which means i feel like you're going to be guided more and you're going to follow that guidance whereas before you wouldn't allow yourself to follow the guidance that you would get from within you would either doubt it or you would just tell it to shut up or you just would fear following it or just think that what is everybody else going to think or um just you know you would always block yourself from following that guidance that you would get from within um usually guidance comes in the forms of excitement when your spirit or when your higher self is giving you guidance you get excited um, for something and it could be like the dumbest things I, I always give the silliest example of like say it's like midnight and you craving taco bell right maybe there's a reason that that universe put the that universe maybe there's a reason that the universe put that craving in your mouth maybe it's like okay i there's something around the area of that Taco Bell that I'm going to go to that I've been trying to manifest or something that will help me or some an opportunity or whatever. And then say you're trying to manifest money. You go to Taco Bell and you find a $100 bill on the ground. You just never know how the universe is leading you where. And I feel like the month of October, you're finally going to be able to listen and not just listen, but follow it. And the more and more that you follow that guidance, you follow your excitement, you're going to start to see synchronicity like you've never seen before. And this in turn is going to go to the next card that we have, which is the faith card. This is saying trust your faith in the situation. So now when all of this stuff is happening to you, when you're surrendering to your inner guidance, your inner voice, all the little nudges that you're getting, the excitement that you're getting, you're going to start noticing that as you follow them more and more, you start to see your manifestations coming into your life faster and faster because you're aligning with the energy you're going with the flow and if something is exciting you that means the vibration there is very high always follow good vibration because it will lead you to where you want to go if something feels off if something feels bad you don't want to follow that you don't want to fuel it you don't want to feed it and i feel like you have been doing that you have been feeding that bad feeling that bad vibe and now in october you're just you're like no more no hell no i'm following this good feeling and i i like you just have faith that you're gonna follow it and everything's gonna be okay and not just faith but your faith is gonna be based on you seeing the results you're gonna follow these nudges you're gonna follow these excitements within you and you're gonna see and you're gonna build your own faith in your own self like you know that um what do people say god god complex i feel like a little bit of that kind of energy in october where you're gonna be like oh man like i got excited for this i i did it i followed it i like i followed my spirit and look what happened like i found this or i met this person or this happened or i had the best night of my life something of that sort where it just one little thing oh my god that scared the hell out of me I think that was the Amazon person delivering packages that came out of nowhere and just scared me. Oh, my heart is beating so fast. <laughs> so I feel like, yeah, I feel like this has been your energy too. Is like just things come out of nowhere and just scare you. You get worried and panicked and anxious. And I feel like that has stopped you from doing so much in your life. Oh, that energy was like, like, you know how somebody just pops out of nowhere and just scares the hell out of you? Like that was that energy for me. And I feel like that's kind of what you're surrendering this month is just always being jumpy and always being paranoid and anxious and scared that what if this and what if that and that comes to the next card, which is surrender the habit of people pleasing. So this one says, speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. And I feel like like within you, it was that kind of energy where you're like always anxious and always scared like if this thing is done on time and this deadline is met and this responsibility is done and that obligation is withheld and this person is taken care of do you see how me just even speaking that out loud my voice got exhausted that's exhausting and i feel like that's what you're doing is like you're you're so much focusing on what is doing good and okay outside of you that you haven't given your inner self work and your inner self your own attention and in the month of october you're just you're finding more and more of a connection with your inner self and not just a connection but a very very sacred and very very powerful one and it's going to allow you 
to shed that dead skin. Like all of that heavy weight that was on you, you are shedding it. Four, four plus one, you got the number 14. Four plus one is five. Five is the number of transformation and change. Butterflies are a symbol of transformation and change and rebirth. So your reading is very, very synchronistic. Um, water flight, which means this heaviness lifts. Burdens are cast away. It's this weightlessness feeling. This whole energy of Libra right now, it's balance. So you're going to feel balanced. And what happens when you feel balanced? Your reading is so magical. What happens when you feel balanced? You align your life. So in the month of October, because of all the stuff that is going to be going on, you're going to ask yourself this question. You're going to be asking yourself what is not aligned or needs to change. And you'll know because you'll get inner guidance. You'll get, you'll listen to your inner voice more. And this is going to be a very, very exciting month for you because now you're going to be like just revealing so much of your own power, your own power and ability to manifest the synchronicity you're going to see, the things you're going to be manifesting, the things you're going to be bringing, bringing into your life. The energy that's coming into your life is very high vibration energy. So get really, really excited. And the crystal that you picked was the amethyst. So this is a crystal of your mind. It's your third eye chakra and your crown chakra opening. When these two chakras are cleared and opened and activated, you have direct connection with the ethers, with the cosmos, with God, universe, higher self. Um, you are just at a whole different vibration than the rest of the world. Um, so very, very good month for you. A very, very beautiful month. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you guys want more, head over to Patreon. If you're interested in any spiritual tools, go over to my Etsy store. And thank you guys so much for watching. For everybody that picked card group number three or the citrine crystal, let's go ahead and see what October looks like for you. So the first message that I see is surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you built up in your body. Let the stress go away as you come back to your center. All right, so October seems like a month where you're really going to be grounding your energy. It may have been you've been feeling lately like you have been really foggy, mentally foggy, confused, like wandering, like you just don't know what path you want to be on or what career you want or what relationship you want to keep. Like something is confusing you. Something has been just draining your energy and making you feel confused and lost. And that in October is really going to go away. I feel like you're going to receive a lot of mental clarity and um, a huge thing coming in in October is express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So I feel like you have been in your head a lot inside your own mind where even if you're having a conversation with someone else, it's like you, you listen to half of their conversation, but the other half of that conversation is you talking to yourself in your mind. Like that inner voice just doesn't shut up. It keeps going and going and going even if someone else is talking to you. And in October, it's like that that phase, I don't wanna say phase, that um, part of you, that part of your mind is finally gonna calm down and you're going to want to, you're gonna see your relationships differently. You're gonna to start to see your loved ones differently, your friends differently, your partner differently, if you're in a relationship, you just see your relationships differently in a way where now you're able to see the love that you have been blocking yourself from. I feel like a lot of people in your life love you very, very much, but you have been either like blocking, like when I say blocking, I mean like you don't trust them back or you doubt their intentions or you just fully don't allow yourself to trust everyone. Um, you hold yourself back. And in the month of October, I feel like you're just going to be revealing more and more of your loving side where you, you're probably going to feel this itch to buy gifts for people or to make dinner for people, invite people over to your house, just interact more with the people that you really, really love. And in turn, because of that, that comes to the next card, which is be authentic. I feel like uh, the message of this card is be real and true to who you are and how you feel. I feel like in the month of October, the more you see people in your life that are genuinely interested in you genuinely love you like you're gonna be able to see their love and appreciation in a way that you have never seen before it's like your mind is dropping this wall that it had in front of it where you weren't able to see 
the way that people actually love you, um, the beauty of that love. You weren't able to see it because you were afraid to see it. And in October now you see it. And because you see it and now you feel accepted for who you are and you feel accepted for all your like quirky parts of you, your silly parts of you, the deeper parts of you, you know, the sensual part of you, all of these parts of you now, you know where you can express them, how you can express them, with who you can express them. And now you're being like coming into your own skin. You're realizing like, I, like, I love this aspect of myself. I don't know why I was so hard on myself before. Like, look at all these people who genuinely love this aspect of me and this aspect of me. It's a, it's a very beautiful month where you get to see yourself in other people's eyes. And it's like all of this time you were looking at yourself so negatively, criticizing yourself, just looking at yourself with so much, um, like being hard on yourself kind of energy. And now in October, you're seeing you you're able to see the way people actually really love you and admire you. And it's changing your perception of yourself. Um, and that comes to the next card, which is courage. Now in the month of October, because of the way that you're going to be embracing who you are, l starting to love yourself and all the aspects of yourself that you are being revealed to, you're starting to have more and more courage in the way you speak in the way you act, the way you stand up for yourself, the way you portray who you are, the way you present yourself, like all of these things are changing, but they're changing in a way that makes you super happy and super excited. And that comes to the next card, which is protection. And there's a huge message in this card. It says, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. It's like you're remembering aspects of who you are. Um, and I say remember because I feel like you always knew these aspects of you were within you, but you you blocked them from fears and insecurities, maybe guilt, whatever. Um, maybe you're a very highly sexual person and you always kind of suppress that part of yourself um, because you're taught, you know, there's so many different views of sex and there's taboos on sex. And so a lot of people have different versions of what sex is and maybe you were in that category where it was supposed to be suppressed and now you're just like i want to embrace that side of myself i'm just giving an example that's a very deep example but like that's the kind of thing that's happening in october for you it's where like you're calling back your power and you're reclaiming something that you just don't give a shit anyone like you don't care what anyone thinks you're going to reclaim your power and you're going to reclaim this thing in your life whether it's a person or a job or a lifestyle a path a belief whatever it is now you're just like i'm doing this i'm and i don't care who knows and who sees this is me and most likely the energy is that people are going to support you and you're going to see this support and in turn it's just going to lift you up even higher that comes to the last two cards that came up in your um thing spread so the first card is trust your path if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? This is a little creepy because here's what we're talking about. Now in October, you find out that you are supported and you see the support because that wall that was preventing you from seeing the support, that wall comes down and you're able to see. Now ask yourself, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? You're going to be supported in October. So now what do you want to do? What do you want to do with your life? What path do you want to go on? Start thinking about what do you want and let go of the fear of anything else. Just what do you want and at least have the image or the thought of that in your mind. That's the first step. And that comes to the next card, which is manipulation of nature, experiments, forcing change. And this card, even though it says cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance, I feel like that's the energy that's coming in now. Now you're arrogant because you are kind of pissed off. Like now you're just like, I've been stopping myself from experiencing and having and feeling so much. And now I'm like, you almost become like cruel in the pursuit of your own happiness. Um, but it's not cruelty energy that's coming in. It's more of this energy. Like you see this lady, she's stand, she's standing like facing this dark shadow and it's like you standing there facing your dark shadow but you've already faced it and and you 
you be I feel like when you faced your darkest aspect you kept that image in your mind of what your darkest aspect looks like and you never let go and now in October it's this new image of yourself and it's this image of like wow I'm supported this much I'm loved this much like this aspect of me uh, maybe you're super funny but you never thought you were funny and on October and uh, like people around you are just like you're really funny like why don't you do more of that why don't you speak more openly like you just did like oh, I don't know it's some something like that kind of energy coming in where you're just going to be um, looking at yourself in a new perspective where you can put the darkness you you're going to overpower your darkness if that makes sense so that is your reading for the month of October I feel like it's a very beautiful energy great things coming in October you pick the citrine crystal citrine is a, a crystal of warmth love happiness cheer laughter success abundance prosperity so it, expect those energies coming in in October and if you have a citrine crystal um, definitely keep it with you work with it and if you don't have one maybe think about getting one i might have some in my store or just go to your local metaphysical store and grab yourself a citrine crystal because working with it in october is really going to be beneficial for you thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye for everybody that picked card group number four or the ruby crystal let's go ahead and see what october is bringing in for you so the first card that pops up is the ganesh card personal transformation here i feel like in the month of october there's definitely going to be some aspect of your life that is going to change completely whether it's something on the outside or something on the inside now i feel like judging by the next card that is coming in this is going to be something within you that is going to make a complete transformation it's going to be almost like a whole entire lifestyle change and it's going to have to do with your spirituality so what's coming in is spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So in October, you're going to experience this connection, whether it's with yourself, maybe it's with yourself, maybe it's with a twin flame, maybe it's with someone else, but definitely some sort of connection coming in that is going to be very deep, very meaningful. I feel like the conversations that are going to be had are going to be life changing so much like the, they're going to have such an impact and influence on you that you're going to change an aspect of your life, whether it be a diet, whether it be a relationship, whether it be career, a different path, a different belief, but something is definitely changing within you in October where you're going to feel more like yourself. It's like something that was vibrationally not aligned with you that you kept holding on to. In October, you're going to let go of it. You're going to be motivated and inspired and urged to let go of it and you actually are going to let go of it and that comes to the next card which is surrender to play so it says take a break from overthinking a goal do something fun play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation i can't tell you how many times this the play card has come up and i have a few different decks that have a, um the play card and I every single deck the play card comes out every single time I use it so this is not just a message for you guys but it's a message for me too so I'm going to tell you that the universe is really pushing us all to play to surrender to play to really relax our energy and when we're able to calm down and we're able to allow ourselves to have fun whatever whatever a lot whatever we think fun is for some people it's reading for some people it's ice skating for some people it's cooking for some people it's cleaning for some people it's watching tv whatever it is for you have fun surrender to fun because when you can do that you spiritually grow and this is something that we have not been taught is the more and more fun that we can have you're opening up to a whole different energy and that is a high vibration energy when you're having fun, that's not a low vibration energy. So there, we underestimate the power of having fun. And so the universe is saying like, hey, in October, this is what's going to happen is you're just going to automatically naturally gravitate towards fun. And in, in that energy that you're going to gravitate towards, because you've been putting in a lot of work. You've been putting in a lot of spiritual work and self like inner work working through a lot of things from your childhood working through a lot of things in your relationships and all that stuff and now like the universe has seen your work and now the universe is like okay this person this human 
needs a break and so it's going to it might even bring an opportunity into your life in october where you're you get an opportunity to go on a trip or on a vacation you get presented with a very very good like i don't know road trip opportunity i don't know something like that vacation deals or something or maybe somebody invites you over their house and you know you get to leave your city or something for overnight something like that but and an, an opportunity may come in like that or you may have to plan it yourself like plan a vacation it's time it's time it's really time for a vacation and like you're you're naturally going to just want it and because you're going to want it you're going to book that vacation or you're you're just going to say yes to something that is really going to lift your vibration um and then that comes to the next card which is surrender outdated beliefs about yourself let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past then you can own your power and soar in your life i want to read the next card with this card because i feel like these are very very connected this card is the card of caution secrecy and wary and a lot of my customers get scared of this card but there's no reason for you to get scared don't worry this card is a very like a breakthrough kind of a card because it it's letting you know that you have been living your life in this way for so long if you see this lady she's always looking over her shoulder then that's how you've been living. You're looking over your shoulder, always worried, always stressed out, always thinking about what if, always having a backup plan. You're like one of those that likes to have a plan B, but plan B stresses you out. And sometimes you focus more on plan B than you do on the actual plan A that you need to be focusing on because you're so worried about failure, you know? And I feel like this energy is really gonna die out in October. Now you're going, this personal transformation is going to come in where you're just gonna be like, you know what? Plan B is there and, and it, if worse comes to worse, plan B is there, but I'm gonna focus on plan A. I'm gonna give all my attention and my energy to plan A. And so now you're going to be like, hold on. These stupid stories I've created in my mind about love, these stupid stories I've created in my mind about my beliefs about money, like these are the old version of me these these are thoughts of that version of me that always kept looking over my shoulder and now i'm looking forward i'm i don't want to look back there anymore look at her body like that could become painful after a while right it, it could even manifest itself into physical pain maybe around your back and shoulder area so be very careful that you know sometimes when you hold on to a negative lower vibration or energy or emotion it could manifest itself into physical pain in your body and i feel like you felt that and in october i feel like if you have been dealing with something like that it's really going to um, go away this pain that you've been having lately it's really going to dissolve and die down and it's because that area of your body that area of your spirituality you have healed that comes to the last card that came up in your spread which is pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle that's really beautiful. The cards are just very synchronistic in your reading that in October, you're raising your vibration and now all the low vibrational stuff that was in your life, stuff, people, jobs, whatever it was, now you're just like, nope, that was from an old version of me that now does not serve me, that does not vibrationally aligned with me. And you'll know because if something makes you feel bad, you will not gravitate towards it. That's the energy of October. You're going to be learning more and more of what makes you feel good and what makes you feel bad. Because of the things that you're aware of now that make you feel good, you're raising your own vibration and you're learning to trust your own voice. So October is going to be a very, very beautiful month for you. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and you picked Ruby because this is your root chakra opening up. Ruby is the color of the root chakra. Root chakra is our stability and our foundation. So the more and more that you start to trust in yourself and trust in your voice, your spirit guides, your spirits, your ancestors, you just build more and more trust within yourself, your root chakra starts to get stronger and stronger. When your root chakra is strong, you can take like you can do so much. Your energy is so high vibration, so stable, so beautiful, so strong, so confident. Um, so expect those energies in October. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.